This tutorial is the first lesson in a series on psychrometrics. Lesson 1.1, Review of Fundamentals. To begin a study of psychrometrics, first we need to have an understanding of some fundamental properties. If you feel comfortable about your understanding of these key concepts, then you can skip this video and go on to lesson 1.2 or 1.3. Some of you, though, might want to take a few minutes for a quick review. By fundamental properties, I mean the following. Mass, force, weight, density, and specific volume. In lesson video 1.2, I provide a review of pressure and enthalpy, and finally, the concepts of sensible and latent heat and then we'll go on into the psychrometrics course. First on the list of fundamental properties are mass and force. A common definition frequently given for mass is that mass is a fundamental property of an object that measures the quantity of matter contained within the object. Please note that the mass of an object is not affected by any external forces placed upon it. In the SI or metric system of units, mass is measured in grams or kilograms and so on. For those of us dealing with building and energy systems, we will also need to understand units of measure in what is called the imperial or IP system. For mass, the common IP unit is the pound, abbreviated with the LB. This is a bit unfortunate because the pound is also a common unit for weight, which we'll discuss in a minute. But before reviewing what is meant by weight, consider another fundamental concept called force. Simply put, force can be described as the push or pull that one body may exert upon another. A common example of force is friction. Friction is the force that exists between the surface of two moving bodies causing the motion to be reduced. Force can also be written as an equation as shown here. This equation also helps define the unit of force in the SI system. From your physics class, you probably recall that the Newton is the metric unit for force, and by definition, a Newton is a kilogram times meters per second squared, where the kilogram is the unit for mass and the meters per second squared are the units for acceleration. In the imperial unit system, the units, for, units used for force gets a little bit more complicated. For now, we'll just limit the discussion to the common unit of pound. Sometimes we'll see pounds with a little F next to it to distinguish pound force from pound weight. So what is weight? Weight is simply a force. The weight of an object is the force exerted upon the object by the gravitational pull of the Earth. This explains why an object whose mass does not change would still weigh less on the Moon where the gravitational pull is less than it does on the Earth. The next two fundamental properties are density and specific volume. The term density itself has a number of different applications. For instance, the population in a city can be considered more dense than the population in the country. Here, it is used as a metric to compare the number of occupants per some common area, say people per square acre. More people per unit of acre means the population density is greater. For this course of study in psychrometrics, the definition for density is going to be limited to what is called volumetric mass density. Volumetric mass density is a property of matter that refers to the amount of mass per unit volume. This can be written as a formula where density is equal to mass divided by volume. For units in the metric system, we typically measure density in kilograms per cubic meter. Of course, here in the U.S. and common to the HVAC industry, the unit for density in, is expressed in pounds per cubic foot. And here I've shown pounds with the little m to designate pounds mass. Specific volume is important because it is used on the psychrometric chart. 
Specific volume is simply the inverse of density, where specific volume is equal to volume per unit mass. So before we go further, let's do a quick review of these fundamental properties and their common units. So for mass, the basic SI unit was the kilogram. And in the imperial common, the common unit was the pound, and shown here as pound mass. For force, the common units were the newton in the metric system, and of course the commonly used metric for force in the IP system or imperial system is pound again. Since weight is a force, the newton can also be used as a measurement of weight. And again, the pound also is a unit of weight. Next was density, or more specifically, volumetric mass density, which we measure in kilograms per cubic meter and in pounds per cubic foot. And finally, we have specific volume which is the inverse of density, cubic meters per kilogram, or as is shown on our psychometric chart, as we'll see, cubic feet per pound. In the next video, Lesson 1.2, I'll provide a review of pressure, enthalpy, and sensible and latent heat.